Hi students, today class we are going to see about pressure thermometer. So how this pressure thermometer is works and how we are going to measure the pressure. The objective of this presentation is about introduction, working principle, construction, application, advantage, limitations. So while you are talking of this pressure thermometer, it's a device used to measure temperature. By measuring a pressure exerted by a given volume of gas or liquid, it is not a direct measurement, it is an indirect measurement. So either we can able to measure the temperature of volume or gas or liquid. It is an economical and widely used device for temperature measurement they have used in industrial point of view. So how it is working? Actually, this thermometer is working on the principle of the expansion that is due to heat. That is nothing but we used to call it as a thermal expansion. So, if there is an expansion of the fluid, so how the expansion will happen? If there is an expansion, expansion, then there will be automatically a change in temperature. So, whatever the changes of the particular temperature that is determined using this particular type of thermometer and which rely on pressure measurement. So for pressure measurement we are having the Bodan tube. The device is also connected. Either the liquid will expand or it will contract in proportion to its temperature and accordance to the coefficient of thermal expansion. So it consists of an enclosed liquid will create a definite vapor pressure in proportion to temperature and the liquid is only partially occupied or in the enclosed space. So how they are calculating the pressure of the gas? It is directly proportional to temperature. The basic principle is gas law. That is PV which is equal to NRT. So P which is nothing but absolute pressure. V is volume. And capital T which is nothing but absolute temperature. R is nothing but universal gas constant and N is number of gas particles. So the pressure thermometer which consists of so many devices it's like bulb, one capillary tube, Bodan tube then it consists of linkage and gearing mechanism then pointer and the scale arrangement. So you can just look at the diagram here. Your diagram it shows here this is what the liquid and which is going to kept in one path. The path is going to be uh, either it is heated so automatically what will happen the liquid will get expand or contract. Then accordingly whatever the action is going to happen that will directly connected within capillary tube. The capillary tube is connected to the Bodan tube. The Bodan tube one end is free end the another one is connected via linkage and gearing mechanism the linkage and the gearing mechanism which is consist of a uh, spring with a pointer and the scale arrangement so whatever the changes were going to occur in this place automatically there will be a variation in the capillary tube so that will directly getting into access to this part so if uh, whatever the expansion or contraction of the liquid will come across to this capillary it directly connected with the linkage through linkage there will be a movement of this particular uh, pointer and the scale arrangement so here you can look at here this is filled system temperature you have a bulb then stem adjustable connection connected via socket capillary then armor which is nothing but stainless steel that is one type of material which was connected to the bodon so this Bodan tube is mainly for the purpose of measuring pressure. So whatever the expansion is going to happen. So you can indirectly, I mean directly pre, uh, measure the pressure. Accordingly, the expansion is because of the temperature. So that is how the temperature and the pressure of a particular volume or gas, it's go, liquid is going to measure. So this is what the construction diagram of your Bodan tube. So this is what uh, we have already had a discussion on the first units itself. So we'll have a good knowledge on this particular topic. So whatever here we have uh, saw that is all the filled system 
which consists of a bulb and it is connected with a capillary that is called as a connecting tube which is connected pressure sensing element that is bored on so the standard glassifying the filled system which consists of liquid vapor or gas so the bulb design is very very important because it is range is 100 to 1 depend on the fill fluid so whatever the fluid we are going to fill and due to temperature span the capillary length long bulbs given average temperature and the bulb material they have used is copper bronze stainless steel and stainless steel is preferred the people used to go the capillary tubing is another construction point and then armory capillary tube which is in small diameter tubing it is usually made up of stainless steel armor is also and me giving mechanical strength to distinguish with other tubing and the armor material is like a stainless steel it is in corrosive atmosphere so there will not be any problem will occur so the length of capillary is carefully selected and specified which is connected through your board on so the many mounting styles available for installing the bulb and people used to have the mounting mechanism is an adjustable union and bendable extension so the bendable extension is usually smaller diameter than the bulb and thus reducing the conduction of error the extension with adjustable union permits sliding to bulb against the bottom of its well to make a slight contact so depending upon the type of fluid filled in bulb is consisting of three things liquid pressure constant volume gas thermometer then liquid vapor thermometer these are the different uh, types we have liquid pressure volume gas liquid vapor then liquid pressure it is in mercury and the expansion is uh, it's like uh, the range is minus 30 to 55 degrees 550 degrees centigrade then constant volume gas they are using the formula and p is directly proportional to temperature the temperature ranges 130 degree centigrade to 540 degree centigrade and the vapor pressure thermometer liquid and vapor of same liquid we have and it does not have any error as it follow dalton's law that is for partial pressure the range is up to 100 degree centigrade and the application is it is used in boiler compressor automobile dashboard then uh, industrial equipment piping then advantage it is very simple direct reading or recording less expensive distance measurement more sensitive and easy maintenance and the limitation is nothing but limited linearity bulb sizes may be too large to fit the available proper calibration is required if the bulb rises high from the cal calibration elevation then the bodon gauge experience an xp increasing pressure equal so error is rho g h so these are some of the limitations so i think you have understand i want to show you in video better it will uh, you will get a clear idea uh, about uh, pressure just look at this diagram you will get uh, clear knowledge you can just look at they are just uh, having one basket they are keeping inside this is gas actually so due to this there is a variation you can able to see yes now they are fixing on one gas filled with one uh, bus i mean uh, bowl because of this the expansion of the liquid so automatically there is a variation so this is how your pressure i mean uh, trans thermometer is working either we can use gas or we can use uh, uh, liquid or it is like an uh, expansion that is whatever the medium you want to prefer you can prefer so only because this is how this uh, liquid thermometer is working so this is how the pressure thermometer is working so based on that we can able to calculate the temperature in proportion with your pressure okay thank you